Hi, and thanks for watching. This video will review how to create name format defaults for constituents. When you set a name format default in AllTrue, any new records added to your database will be automatically created with these name format defaults. You can also specify which name format should be a constituent's primary addressee and primary salutation. To start, let's go to Marketing Communications and under Configuration, click Name Format Options. Before we configure name format defaults, let's quickly review name formats in AllTrue. Let's start in the Name Formats tab. Name formats are used throughout the system as a way to let you choose how to address each constituent. For example, for some correspondents, it might be more appropriate to use formal salutations, while for others, you would use informal salutations. As you can see from this list, Ultra provides many common name formats, but you can also build new ones to suit your organization's needs. Let's go ahead and build a new name format. To do so, Click Add. Name formats are built from merge fields and text fields. Let's practice by adding an informal salutation. I want this to read William and Margaret Smith. For my first field, I will choose first name. Now, if I only wanted first initial, I could check the box Show as Initial. Let's say I was adding a first initial and a middle initial. We can also choose Remove the next space so the two initials appear together without a space. Next, because I want to include the constituent spouse in my name format, I will choose And. Since I also want this name format to work for constituents that don't have spouses, I'm going to check the box to Remove if previous or next entry is blank. This way, if the constituent does not have a spouse, AND will not show in our name format. Next, I'll add spouse first name, and then last name. Under Example, you can see how this name format will read on a record. You will also want to check the box for joint name format if two constituents can be included in this name format. When you add name format options, you can specify how to pick the name format option when more than one constituent is included in a marketing effort. Now let's click Save. From this tab, you can also manage name formats. If you click the drop down arrows, you can choose either Edit or Delete for some name formats. You also have the option to set as the default household format. This means when a new household is created, the household will use this name. I would actually like my households to read the Smith family instead of the current default. Let's add another name format for this with the Add button. If I don't see family in my drop down, I can add it using Add New Text Field. Save this name format. Then, highlight it and click Set Default Household Name Format. Once we have all the name formats we want in our Name Formats list, it's time to define some defaults. Let's go back to the Name Format Options tab. Under Name Format Defaults, we can specify which name format should be added by default to constituent records. Click Edit here. In the Name Format type, click the drop-down to add a new type of name format. We will go ahead and add a formal addressee and salutation, as well as an informal addressee and salutation. In the Name Format column, select the corresponding name format from the drop-down menu.
If you want to add a name format type you do not see in the drop-down, you can add an entry at any time to this code table. Simply type it in and then tab or click out to add it to the code table. You will need the code table system role to do so. You can also manage these entries in administration code tables. For now, let's add a new type of newsletter that we will use for our email newsletter. Before we're finished, I will set which of these name format defaults should be the default primary addressee or primary salutation. For this example, I will check my informal formats as my primary addressee and salutation. Once you've added all of your desired defaults, click Save. That's all for this video. Tune in for our next video on customizing and using name format options in all true communications. Thanks for watching.